So the guys, welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade. Uh, wow, that fucking zombie quest though. I looked into it, guess what? Uh, you don't have to do it. <laughs> there is another way of doing that quest. You can literally just push the conversation further and uh, do some other bullshit for him instead. So we'll probably go back to Romero and do that afterwards. Um, because the zombie quest is hard as fuck. Uh, <laughs> People have said it's one of those where you could maybe believe it's later in the game and possibly do it, but it really helps if you're a vampire that has um, access to certain skills. Uh, good sniping ability is one. Um, or specs is another one, uh, which I think is the one that lets you basically see which gate they're at so that you can go and, and defend the gates and all that bollocks. Um, so yeah, that's that. Anyway, we're not doing that. What we're doing is we're going in here instead to see what's going on in the crypt. Well, this isn't spooky at all. Uh, okay. Uh, right. Oh man, this game is, is very dark. And today is a little bit sunny, um, so it's a bit hard for me to see what's going on. This, Okay, right, fine. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh. Well, this all looks very mysterious. That looks like a leg bone. Nothing in here that I can interact with. That I can interact with this one. A horror tape! Oh, he stashed it in her grave. A battered video cassette. The labeling is cheap and worn. You can barely, barely make out the devil's. Bleh, oh, fuck me. The Devil Spawn Flesh Feast 1 and the logo, which looks somewhat like DMP. It appears this tape has changed hands more than a few times. How oh, very mysterious. Quest log updated. You discovered the tape Isaac has been looking for, hidden in Ginger Swan's tomb. It is extremely worn, and the only discernible markings on it say Devil Spawn, Flesh Feast, and DMP. Bring the tape back to Isaac. Yes, we will. After we've had a good look around. No, there's nothing else in here. Okay. Well, we got the tape, so there's that. Hmm. It's all very strange. Do I want to trigger this other Romero quest then? Should we have a look at it? It can't hurt, right? Is what I'm thinking. Uh, let's make a save point. Uh, la, 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 la. Make a save, speak to Romero, see about this other quest. Hey, buddy. Hello there, Slick. It's me again. I want to think about knocking next time I damn near blew your head off. Thought you might be a zombie. Okay. Why do you think I was a zombie? Who else would be <laughs> waltzing in here in the middle of the night? Uh... Name's Romero. I'm the caretaker here. Well, that is, I don't exactly keep people from getting in. Although that is part of my job. No. You see, I'm here to make sure nothing gets out. Yeah, we know. See, it's like this. Every night around this time for the past... Oh, several months now, the dead have been getting up with an itch to stroll down Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> Nobody knows why, but they're working on it. Till they figured out, they needed a volunteer to pass. It's interesting why they forward. might be doing that. Problem temporarily solved. The Baron's happy. I get to shoot zombies, and guarantee I get my blood for another month. I've carved out a nice niche here. Cool. Uh, sounds like fun. You're telling me. As far as I know, I'm the only person around Hollywood who considers marksmanship an art. A lot of the stiffs around here used to be asshole celebrities, too. Bonus. <laughs> I love my job, what can I say? By the way, hey, you wouldn't be interested in watching the place while I go handle some business, would you? No. I'm not supposed to leave, or it might end up in a zombie holocaust or something. Right. Like one time these goths snuck in. Ooh, wasn't pretty. 
So do I choose sorry not interested or do I ask him first? I think we ask him first. I'll be back in about five minutes. If you should see any zombies in that time. Oh, here we go. I'm not interested in fighting zombies. Maybe I can help in some other way. Well, uh, I don't know. What are you thinking? What kind of business do you need to take care of? Sometimes a man needs the kind of release. Putting a 44 slug through a zombie's brain doesn't provide. Come on, you're a guy. You understand, right? <laughs> you're a sad, sad little man. Uh, no. We'll save you the trip. We'll bring someone back. Really? You will? Great. I'll just stay here and keep watch. Oh, and uh, FYI, I like him a little, you know, stacked. Appreciate it. <laughs> wow, that shit-eating grin. He likes them a little stacked. My friend, you have shit-tasting women. I like them small and wiggly. <laughs> uh, let's go. I'm thinking, okay, where have we seen busted women? Does that have to be someone in Hollywood? Because um, we saw a very busted woman at the club in... Um, well, who was that club? Was it in Confession? It probably was. Um, I'm thinking the woman that stopped you on the way in. But also, what about the actual barmaid, Venus? She was pretty pretty buxom, if I remember rightly. Um, but that's a problem for later. First of all, we're going to go drop off this tape for Isaac. Gangrel. Beckett's a gangrel, by the way. I double checked that. Beckett is a gangrel. Okay, right, where are we going? Uh, back to Isaac. Which means we need to drop into the sewers. Uh, probably up this alleyway over here. I'm guessing we have to get someone specific for uh, for Romero. A lady of the evening to luxurious digs in the cemetery. I assume it's not just... Well, it says, it says lady of the evening. We could try and just find a, a random hoe, as it were. Um, and see if that does it for him. This point A, I think this is the one. If I can get myself in there. If I can squeeze into the narrow tube. There we go. Right, let's see what Isaac's got to say for us. <clears throat> Come on, load in. Let's have a word. Don't have it, do you? I do have it. Why did you say that? All this for tape? They just think of online shopping now. I didn't doubt you'd find this. And I apologize if I was overly imperious before. A reflex action. I get a lot of young blood in here for getting their place. Okay. I'll assist you as reasonably as I can with your task. But first... This tape. I'm in a hurry to find out what's behind all the hype, so get comfortable. I do have a feeling that whatever's here may be of use to both of us. Oh, oh shit. The fuck are those things? What are those? Oh, DMP, Death Mask Productions. Interesting. It's more disturbing than I was led to believe. You can understand my concern now, can't you? <laughs> it just so happens that around the time this snuff film started circulating, the Nosferatu disappeared. Oh. I tried to elicit their help in tracking down the source, and for the first time in all these years, I was dismayed by their absence. Okay. How do you usually contact them? Usually I just put the word out I'm looking for them, and sooner or later, they appear. Well, that makes sense. Uh, you think the tape has something to do with their disappearance? I assume it does. It's awfully coincidental otherwise. Yeah. And those creatures. I don't know how many professional FX houses could pull those off. There's a problem, though, and that the film's incomplete. The first half is damaged. We need a complete copy. Okay. 
Where did we find a better copy? Behind the spit shine gloss of the Hollywood Dream Factory, there's another city churning out a vile byproduct for the furtive consumption of a debauched audience. I have no doubt the film's found its way to another smut peddler. I'd ask around. Oh, and by I, you mean me. Uh, smut, eh? <laughs> Alright, I'll go take a look around. Uh, okay, well that's interesting. Uh, in the meantime, we also need to do some pimping. Talk to smut peddlers and ladies of the night, I guess. Uh, fresh save point? I think so. Let's have a fresh save point. Okay. So what else do we want to do? We've got a whole bunch of shit going on. There's no point going back to do the thing at the Lucky Star apartment yet, because that needs us to go back to Santa Monica. We're also in Santa Monica, we're still waiting for the werewolf blood to be collected. Um, we want to talk to smut peddlers. Smut peddlers. Does this have a map of the Mission Theatre? Well, uh, Cavalletti Cafe, Lucky Star, Red Spot, Metalhead Industries, that sounds like my kind of place that does, the Aspole, the Sin Bin, the Sin Bin, oh, the Peep Show, oh yes, da 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 da, that's where we're gonna go, we'll go talk to Smutty McPimp Face at the, uh, Sin Bin, and see what he's got to say for us. Right, down here then. Whoa, you see that guy? He just fucking super teleported down the street. Uh, what's this place? Ground Zero. So the sin bin's further up, if I remember rightly. Is it this one? Yeah, this one. Sin bin. Okay, so we'll see if they know where we can find a copy of the tape. Might as well ask him if he knows any good ladies of the night while we're here. Hello. What can I do for you, Slick? Uh, got some questions. Yeah? What do you want to know? Uh, have you heard of Death Mask Productions? Those guys? Yeah. Yeah, I heard of them. Why do you want to know? Uh, I might be in the market for some of their products. Really? You a cop? Uh, uh, do I look like the 5-0? Alright. <laughs> I'll tell you a little bit, but if anyone comes asking, you never heard it from me. They produce only the most hardcore video. I'm not even talking black market here, more like black hole market. Not the kind of product you want to get mixed up in. Okay. Just tell me where I can find them. Forget it, man. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Huh? What? Who are they? Seriously, <sighs> get the hell out of here. Uh, okay, what about cash, Flynn? Cash. <laughs> changes things a little. But we're talking about some pretty odd info here. Underground stuff, you know. Like the kind of info that $500 might get you. I don't have $500. Then I ain't got nothing else you to say about You ass book it. it. Okay. Yeah? What do you want to know? Ah, you... Butt muncher, okay. How much money do we have? Is it something we could feasibly... Nope. Uh, okay. So he knows something, but he's not telling. We're not. We can't intimidate him, because that wasn't an option. Hmm... What if... Is there anyone else we could talk to? We could break into his office. I guess that wouldn't be too hard. Wow. Lovely. And that's just the outside door, right? These are just the peat boxes. Oh, hey. <laughs> Uh, do I want to break into his office? I feel like we're probably going to have to. 
We'll come back. We'll give you time to think about it, Flynn. Hmm. I wonder what else we can do. Why would I buy a watch? Let's have a look at some of these places we haven't been in and see what's going on. Full bar, no cover after 8 pm. Uh, is this gonna have fucking copyright music? Am I gonna have to fucking censor this shit? Uh, okay, we'll go in. I'll just assume it's fucking copyright music and just put something else over it. It seems to be the nightclubs, but they put the music in that's copyrighted. <sighs> wow. Hello? Vesuvia swag. Lava lotion. She doesn't want to talk to me. Say I can just go in. It's just a strip club. And the music actually sounds like just generic background music, so it might be okay. Anyone shifty around here? Oh, hello. Hey there, handsome. My name is Misty. Hello, Misty. Can I interest you in a private dance? I've got something special in mind just for you. That's great. Come with me to the graveyard. Uh, I mean, uh, the problem is I don't know if this is just relevant to the Romero quest or not. Great. Hundred dollars. Fuck off. Go back and get things started. Uh, I'm a little short on cash. Then I'm a little short on time, sweetheart. Sorry, but I don't give up these goods for free. Okay. Uh, you already did. You got ripped off. Wow. You I'll come do back. that, sweetheart. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, private dance booths. Not a real door. So do we think Misty might be part of the Romero quest? Oh. Oh. Look what just walked in. I can't imagine you get my fans Vesuvius, being what you are. Maybe I'll have more luck with you. Uh, who are you? I think we should get to know each other a little better upstairs. Okay. Where we can be ourselves. Yeah, I get it. Come up to my I'm, I'm not slow. Just 14 little steps. I'll make it worth it. Believe me. Lead the way. Wow, damn jiggle physics though. <laughs> really? <laughs> Just really kind of want to look. Okay, just in case there's anything in there, you've got to explore all the options. Holy fuck! That is actually quite cool. I approve. Misty, Candy, Bambi, and Cindy. Brilliant. Isn't this better? You and me alone for just a little while, <laughs> away from jihad and the nonsense and the dangers. Just the two of us. Hmm. I don't want to spoil the moment, but there's a reason I needed to speak to you alone. Okay. Just a wild guess, but you're a Toriador. Yeah, probably. Um, I knew there had to be a catch. You know, I forget sometimes the two-faced nature of our blood. <laughs> it's sad, really. The way we get conditioned so quickly, isn't it? The reason I asked you up here is because I... And the rest of the Hollywood kindred have been under surveillance lately by hunters. Okay. I didn't want you to say anything that might draw attention. I appreciate Think it. nothing of it. I'm Velvet. Okay. The lower. Call me Velvet. It's been months That's since a I've good name. I might steal that for my D&D campaign. Velvet Velour. And who should finally I like it. But a real celebrity. I've heard a lot about you. Oh, really? So, uh. Wouldn't you like to know about me? And who have you been listening to to hear talk of this mysterious fledgling? Um, I 
What should I ask? I'm like a book. All you have to do is run your finger down my spine and crack me open to see what I'm about. It doesn't work on me. I am also a vampire. <laughs> uh, all right, fine. Tell me about the hunters. Hunters. Yes. They've been staking out Hollywood for several weeks. They've been in Ash's club, mine, a few others. I think they're whittling down their list of suspects. I'm a bit nervous. Until recently, I had one right under my nose. What do you mean? For a few weeks, one of them was working here at Vesuvius, keeping an eye on the clientele. I found the weapon in her locker and I fired her. She's still in Hollywood watching my club. And me. Uh... You might have to kill her? I've had to adjust a lot to this existence. <clears throat> and I've accepted that I may have to do just that. But I'm a suspect, and if she ends up dead, and I'm seen, they'll either kill me or chase me into obscurity, where I'll wither and die. Fine, I will deal with Would it. You? I think it might be a little much to ask. And yet you lured me up here to ask me to do it, so... What's it worth? I've got a girl, Misty. She's divine, and a willing blood doll for the right amount of money. I'll set her up for you. My treat. Is this relevant to Romero? It really be relevant Will she come to the graveyard? That's what I want to know. Lie. She doesn't even need to be a blood doll. She did, did, Romero her, just wants to bang it. There's no blood involved. Very, very grateful. Uh, sure. Uh, she works over at the sin bin now. Her hair is blonde on top. Okay. So her tattoo on the small of her back. Dances under the name Chastity, as if that wasn't a dead giveaway. Right. I want you to understand. I don't want any innocents killed on my account. So if there are other dancers, oh, or Jesus. Around, you'll have to lure them away from her. Do it as quietly as you can. No witnesses, please. And be careful using disciplines around the hunter. <sighs> Fine. Uh, mm -hmm. Before I go ahead and have a question. Anything about a snuff film? No. Are you into that kind of thing? Ugh. Okay. That's it then. Well, we got all the information we needed out of her, I think. Um, chastity at the sin bin. Fuck me, we've just got a pile of annoying shit to do right now. What are these guys doing? Um, okay. Everything is sort of tying back to the sin bin somehow. I'm hoping we can use Misty for the Romero quest. So if so, taking care of this hunter should be top concern. And then we've still got to find some way of figuring out um, the other thing. Can we... Fast book. I don't think so. What? Don't talk to me, mate. Fuck off. Have we been in there? Is that a thing? No. Okay. I want to sort of get my face in as many places as possible, I think. Let's just have a really good look around. Oh, yeah. This was the weird warehouse bit. Um, with the people who stare at walls. Can we slip in this back door in here? Do we want to go in there and have a look around? Yeah. Shall we? Let's make a save. I just kind of want to get nosy before I start doing fucking quests. I'm going in. I'm going to have a look. Probably going to instantly get attacked by dudes. Oh. The fuck? Where are we? Don't touch me. Where the hell? Wow, you don't look suspicious at all, son. What is this place? Hello? Do I know you? Uh I don't know maybe if I saw the top of your head. Is this her? I just stumbled across her straight away. Is 
Is this the hunter? Who can ever know themselves really? Such is the conundrum Are of life. Cute, except replace cute with absolutely repulsive. Wow. Okay. There is copyright music here, so I'm probably going to have to get rid of this as well. Uh, there's nothing else in there. Okay, let's leave. Uh, that was weird. I wonder if that's her. We're looking for a blonde. Um, unless, again, she's someone we can get for Romero. I don't know. It's all so mysterious. Where have we come out? Just around the corner. So what is that place, and why is it hidden away? Is there any more hidden places? Yep. Oh, that's the alleyway. Yeah. Um, I've got another one here, but it's locked. It's just out of curiosity. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Picked a lock. Snuck into somewhere. Okay, we need some sort of key card or number code. How strange. How strange. Sometimes just picking random locks is kind of fun. You never know what you're going to find in there. I wonder if it's part of a quest that we'll do later. Because I assume like most of these places are there for a reason, but you never know. Some of them might not be. What was that place? The red spot. Oh, we can't actually go in through the front. Okay, let's pop in the red spot and just see what's going on in there. The moon is out, everyone's in dreamland, and you've tuned into the dead of night. Nobody to fall asleep next to? Go ahead and pull the radio into bed. That's <laughs> what I'm here for. And hey, why don't you call me sometime? Area code 323-KL5-KTRK. Looks like somebody's been waiting in the queue quite a while to speak to yours truly. So, caller, why aren't you asleep? Oh, this is good. Uh, uh, insects. Insects. As in you have an insect problem, or chirping crickets are keeping you up, or <laughs> you have nightmares about them. Help me out here. Oh, no, no. Don't you know? When you fall asleep, they can crawl into your mouth or your ears or, or your nose. You, you can't prevent it if you're asleep. <laughs> I mean, you, well, what can you do? Are there any scientists out there listening to this? Um, I, I read something. I, I don't know where. But do you know the average person eats several pounds of insects a year? The majority of that weight is composed of roaches, ants, and spiders. Just knowing that as soon as you close your eyes, a big fat centipede is going to drop into your mouth and crawl down your throat. I can't do it. I never sleep at night. You know, they voluntarily eat insects in some countries. Yeah, well, those countries probably need Jesus. <laughs> oh, you never sleep at night. Amazing. I assume you do sleep, right? Uh, I sleep at work. And what exactly do you do? I'm a middle school teacher. <laughs> I would explain why my nephew invested that 20 I sent him for his birthday on magic beans. It's always good to know that the future of our country is in good hands, isn't it? Oh, boy. Let's see who else we got. Caller. This is great. For living. I'm Roger. Okay, and what do you do, Roger? <laughs> um, I'm a writer, Deb. So, have you written any uh, movies I might have seen? Well, I actually haven't finished any screenplays yet. I see. So, have you done any other kinds of writing? Well, just some outlines right now, but I've got some really good ideas for some stories that are crawling around in the old noggin. <laughs> so, if you haven't really written anything, how can you call yourself a writer? Because I once fixed my toilet doesn't make me a plumber, right? <sighs> Is there anyone in this city that doesn't call themselves a writer Sick or burns. actor or a director? Don't you think you're doing a disservice to those who actually make their living in those art forms by deeming yourself something you're not or not even trained to do? Um, well, I think I'm pretty good at knowing what's good writing from bad writing. Well, wouldn't that make you a critic? Let's see if anyone else agrees. <laughs> you. Are you ready for a menage a trois? Sure thing, Deb. And would you please state what you do for a living? I'm a personal assistant for a producer at Parasite Studios. Perfect. Do you read a lot of screenplays? Don't get me started. Well, for our writer on the phone, here's your big chance to pitch your screenplay. Is that okay, line two? Sell me, dude. Well, um, 
okay? So, uh, my story's about this guy. You don't say. Okay, <laughs> uh, okay, so this guy, he's, well, he's like a, an FBI agent, but, you know, he doesn't really work for the main FBI. And, uh, he's got this partner who's new and really cute, but she's also a really good agent. And they're, like, assigned to this bizarre case where people are being killed in really strange ways. Uh-huh. And then, like, something happens and the girl agent gets kidnapped by the killer. Something happens. Yeah, well, I haven't quite figured it out yet. <laughs> like, the guy agent notices, like, how the killer seems to know everything he's doing, like, one step ahead of him. And then there's this kind of, you know, weird chase scene. And then, like, we find out that the guy's got two personalities. And, like, he finds out in the end that he's the killer. And then uh, he's kidnapped his own partner. Well, line two, what do you think? You're going to option it or not? Uh, writer dude? Roger. Uh, Roger, would you like my professional opinion? Yeah. Where are you from? Um, Wisconsin. Okay. I want you to get all your stuff together, and then I want you to move back to Wisconsin. That's a little cold, Lane. <laughs> That's Hollywood, baby. Maybe it's just too good for you. Uh, no, dude, it's not. Break it up, you two. But they recorded a lot of this. Wisconsin. I have some other things I'm working on, too. I got some pretty good ideas for video games, I think. If anyone's interested in hiring me, my number is 213... Sorry, Roger. The only one that gets to give out their number on this show is me. And if anyone was thinking of asking what I'm wearing, that number again is 323-KL5-KTRK. <laughs> We're going to take a short commercial break, but that doesn't mean you can stop thinking about me. Don't go anywhere, boys. Does your penis always seem to be getting in the way? <laughs> I got the last of the groceries, honey. I just need to close the trunk. <laughs> oh One more God. nail and this birdhouse will be as good as new. I'm sorry, sir. This dressing room is for women only. You don't have to let this happen to you. Hi, I'm Dr. Fred Tuck. Don't let your penis interfere with the quality of your life anymore. <laughs> I have performed over 300 sex changes in my career, and not one of my patients has ever asked for their tackle box back. Wow. <laughs> Come to Tuck's Sex Exchange in the next month, and I'll give you a free estimate. Don't let your peace and a few with your peace of mind. Yeah. Tuck Sex Exchange. Amazing. Located off Beverly Drive. Look for the sign with... They put some real effort sign. into this. Tired of sluggish internet access? Mom, the internet's all slow again. I'm not your mom. <laughs> I'm not that you out of your mom. Sick of unwanted spam? Oh, oh, another email message from my old college roommate, <laughs> Rod Uges. Oh. Oh, my. Computer problems make it frustrating to log on? Error 432, network access remote server memory allocation assessment table exceeded. <laughs> Hard drive reformatting will now commence. What? Looking for something that requires no logons, no unwanted email, coherent sentences, and no technical problems whatsoever? Read a book. Books. Wow. The original internet. <laughs> Terrorists are prepared to destroy the largest dam in America. Again. The Vengey bomb goes off. This Hoover will be caught with his panties down. And only this renegade cop and his ex-wife's manicurist <laughs> stand between destruction and unexpected love. Oh, my God. I'll just file you as D.O.A. This summer, all bets are off. The heat is on. The fix is in. The dogs are out. <laughs> the game is up. The chips are down, the stakes are high, the odds are low, the danger is huge, the payoff is slim. Friendships will be made, rules will be broken, nice. wrongs will be righted, and no unturned stone will be left. Uh, get ready to be turned inside out and upside down. Hoover 2, Hydroelectric Boogaloo. Oh my the god. The <laughs> movie you'll see this year. When I'm grinding the reverse Poindexter 540 to Ollie Northbound. Oh, I, I could listen to this shit all day. That's why every morning I down a pound ground with gentle extreme wax and sports drink. Because when you're pounding, How much you of this so shit is the there? Plane, you don't want anything to slow you down. You listen to this? It's amazing. The moon is out, everyone's in dream land, Okay, and it, it's, it's come full circle, but oh my god, that Nobody was really entertaining. Um, your mileage may vary, I enjoyed it. <laughs> I love shit like that, I used to like, um, who didn't, like the early GTA games, and they'd have all these great radio skits in between the music. Oh. Um, they were very entertaining. Man, those hot dogs were hypnotic.
Look at this. I bet they're disgusting. Uh, right, so, employees only. Um, that probably leads to the back room where we were just at. Gentlemen, there's nothing in here. I don't know why I keep checking the toilets. I just I feel like there's going to be something in them, and then there just isn't every single time. Wow. Um, what's that? There's money in there. Someone left 25 books in the fridge. The fuck? Okay. Uh, right, I'm going to talk to this dude, and then I know we're going massively over time. I'm going to talk to this guy, yeah, and then we're going to head out. Eat in some Stop. Oh. Uh, uh, welcome to Red Spot, home of the monster so truck. 72 ounces. I assume you do sleep, right? Blah, blah. 72 yeah. ounces. That sounds like an awful lot. 72 fucking ounces. Isn't that like nearly two litres or something? Jesus Christ. Um, right, what's going on around here? Anything exciting or unusual? You hear anything new about the serial killer? Let's ask him about the serial killer. Uh, this isn't going to turn out to be ironic, is it? You're not like a serial killer, are you? Uh, no. Always. You should come out and see my band, so, Bowl of Cereal. Oh, that is a terrible <laughs> pun, my friend. The Bowl of Cereal. Uh, hold on one sec, my friend, because I can't hear you over the goddamn radio. There we go. Uh, hold on. He looks a bit mad now that I've turned the radio off. Uh, I'm looking for a take. You mean like hardcore girl on girl on kangaroo action and stuff? Yeah, yeah sure. Flynn hooks me and my crew up for all the stuff they don't even allow on the internet. Okay, but... fucking Flynn. It's more of a horror snuff tape. Oh, that? Man, that's supposed to be some hardcore shit. I heard this one guy like died right after watching. That. Yeah, totally, dude. Where can I get hold of it? Like I said, Flynn's a man. You should talk to him. Okay. Anything else you want to tell me about? Yeah, the Vesuvius rocks. Okay. They don't let me in anymore, but. Damn, the girls in there, dude. It's like midget smuggling ring in there. Okay. Uh, hey, you know, you should really ask me about the special, you know? Oh, okay. Is this vampire related? I'm glad you asked that, bro. Seeing as how you look trustworthy or something. Right. I got this special where you buy some really expensive burrito tots or grapeple juice. You get a free weapon of your choice, bro. You interested? <laughs> um, I don't need any weapons. I'm fine. Thanks anyway. Um, okay. What does this say? Surgeon General has determined that cigarette smoking could cause cancer, lung disease, emphysema, diarrhea, jock itch, VD, alien invasion, swamp foot, and may lead to the death of cute little puppies. Amazing. Okay. Right. Wow. That was an adventure on its own. Just going to the bloody red spot. I like it in there. We'll do all our shopping at Red Spot from now on. Um, but we're still not getting any closer to finding a date for Romero and a snuff tape. Uh, but we're going to carry on exploring uh, next time. Um, I think... That was weird. It sounded like a car driving past, but there was nothing. Um, there's... I th I think we've explored everywhere. There might be like one or two little doors that we might not have poked our noses in yet, but for the most part, I think we've done everything. Um, so we're probably going to have to go find that Huntress. Huntress? Is that the word I'm looking for? Um, which means a visit to the Sin Bin. But we will do that next time. Um, for now, that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. And I will see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>